हेलो व्यूअर्स आई मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड्स बिफोर यू विथ ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ फोर्थ सेमिस्टर ऑफ प्लस थ्री लेवल ऑफ द पेपर नंबर एट व्हिच इज पॉलिटिकल प्रोसेसेस एंड institutions in comparative perspectives the topic is theories of political party and party system in paper number 8 which is political process and institutions in comparative pers perspective there is a chapter known as origination theories and types of political party we have already completed in the last video about origination of political party and today we will take off theories of political party or and party system it is a very important topic and this video has been prepared after referring a lot of books i request my viewers to watch this video attentively and in course of watching prepare your notes so the, so your problem relating to prepare prepare some notes will be over on any important topic of plus 3 first semester second semester third semester and fourth semester you want just write my name dilip kumar pal and the name of the topic in youtube you will get the notes let us start what are the theories associated with the political party and party system in the human society and in every country political parties play a very important role they perform that important function which other associations are not performing it is the speciality of political parties the special function which political parties are performing is representation of people's problem before the government so political parties are performing those important functions which other associations are not performing so it is the speciality of political parties and so far as political party and party system is concerned there are two major theories one theory has been told by robert michaels and another important theory was told by morris duverger so first of all we'll take off the theory of robert michaels robert michaels who was born in the year 1876 and died in the year 1936 was a very important scholar of the elite theory in 20th century he in his book political parties he in his book political parties published in the year 1911 expressed a lot of things about political party and party system what he said he has mentioned that in every country political parties are found but in every political party at the top there are some leaders in every political party may be democratic or undemocratic at the apex of the political party or at the top level of political party there are some important leaders who are known as political elite or caucus 
and these top leaders are controlling the performance organization and we are functioning of political parties so in every political party some top leaders are controlling the political party political parties performance organization and function and those who are controlling a political party at the top they are a few in numbers and it is known as oligarchy it is known as oligarchy theory of political parties it means a few persons a few top leaders are controlling the entire political party they are a few in numbers and what they decide it prevails in the party so it is known as oligarchy theory of political party or party system and the law which these political leaders will make it will prevail it is known as iron law of oligarchy so robert michael said that political democracy is a myth is a meaningless because some elites the elite rule was the rule political democracy is meaningless because in every political party a few persons rule they are known as elites so elite rule is the rule and the elites those who are top leaders they are few in number they are known for their knowledge and capabilities on the basis of their knowledge and capabilities they control political party and if any law will be passed against them law will become weaker but the leaders will not become but leaders will not become weaker so it is said if law will be passed to control leaders it is the law which will gradually weaker not the leaders and those who are ruling at the top of political party from time to time they changes even if they will be changed some few leaders will rule a party organization if one one group will be changed again another will group will come and they will be few in number so this is what the view of robert michaels about political party and party system so what is it again i am telling according to robert michaels every political party may be democratic or on democratic is controlled by a few leaders they are known as political elite or top leaders they control the entire political party and their rule their direction is the final and they cannot be changed if they will be changed again a few will come so every political party will be ruled by a few persons they are known as political elite or caucus or you can say kotel so this is what the idea of robert michaels about political party and party system this is his theory and his theory is known as oligarchy theory of political party and party system now we'll discuss another theory which is which has been told by morais duverger morais duverger was born in the year 1917 and he was died in the year 2014 he in his book political parties published in the year 1954 told about political party and party system his view is known as duverger's theory on political party and party system so what he told more as duverger has told that every political party is not a single group every political party is not a single community within every political party there are various organs 
there are various units there are various groups which are spread all over the country it means according to morais morais dubander a political party is not a single group or a single community within a political party a lot of groups a lot of units are associated who are being controlled within a political party a political party is not a single group within a political party a lot of groups are found and there is a coordination among these groups and all these groups are controlled by the head of the political party and more is diverse are told that a political party has four parts one is the one is the caucus number two is the branch number three is the cell and number four is the militia the first part of the political party is the caucus it is otherwise known as click or koi trick or a core committee or top committee it means a political party has many parts the first part is caucus it means in every political party there are some top leaders who are political elites they control the entire political party they take they take an important role in the decision making the decision making process of the government they play an important role in the functioning of the political party they play an important role in the organization of the political party they play an important role in the performance of the political party so in every political party at the top there are some leaders they are known as elites this is one branch one part number 2 second part is the branch a political party has many branches and these branches have contact with the common people top leaders will not have contact with the common people these branches will have contact with the common people and these branches are a link between the branches are a link between political elites top leaders and the common people so every political party has many branches those who are making contact with the people and number 3 is the cell cell means every political party has small units in the local level every political party has small units in the local level in the primary level and in the cells parties are in the cell in the cells membership is taken members are taken and in the cells local people are its members and those persons who will be interested to become member of the cell they must have faith on party ideology they must have faith on party leadership so every political party at the bottom of its structure there are cells or in the local level there are cells and local leaders are the member of the cell and they function under the direction of the top leaders and it is the duty of cell to collect members of the party and last one is the militia militia means party soldiers basically communist parties socialistic parties have militia militia means party soldiers and it is the duty of militia to propagate party ideology to spread party programs and these members of militia are trained and they are trained in party ideology and it is their duty only to spread party ideology they are known as militia and the militia of mao zedong were known as 
Red Guard. The militia of Mussolini were known as stock, shock troop, shock troop. And the militia of Hitler were known as Shram troopers. So, more as Duvardar has told that every political party has many parts, four parts. One is the focus, number two is the branch, number three is the cell, number four is the militia. Focus means top leaders, branch means a party has many offices in different places, cell means a party has local units, militia means party has some trained persons who will spread their ideology. Then, more is Duvaldar has told about Kedar party and mass party. He has told that Kedar party is a party where party members are selected and they are trained. Okay, so parties are two types, Kedar party and mass party. Kedar party is a party where members are selected Members are given training and it is the duty of the cadres to work a lot during the time of election. And this cadre has also two types, higher cadre, lower cadre. And those people who are in the higher cadre, it is their duty to collect horns for the party and they play an important role in the decision making of the party. So cadre party is a party where members are selected, they are trained. Again, what is a mass party? Mass party is a party where members are not selected. Any person can become member of the party. But the, but the condition is like that they must have support for party ideology. And this is all about Morais Dover's idea about cadre party and mass party. Then, his idea on interior party and external party. He told about interior party and exterior party. Interior party means within the legislature some groups will be found and later on they will become political party. So interior party means with the popularization of democratic principles and democratic institutions within the legislature some groups are found and with the lapse of time they will become political party. For example in 1787 when Philadelphia convention was going on at the time there are two groups one is federalist other one is non-federalist Later on, they converted into different parties. In a similar manner, in British legislature, there were two parties. There were two groups on the issue of monarchy. One group supports monarchy. It is known as the Cavaliers. Other group support anti-monarchy system. They were known as Whigs. So Cavaliers later on became conservative party and Whigs later on became Liberal party. This is inter party. Interior party. Inter party means within the legislature some groups will be created and later on they will become political party. But what is the exterior party? Exterior party means sometimes political parties are formed on some issues. For example, Indian National Congress was formed to make India free from colonial rule. It is external party. Communist party of Russia was formed to carry out social, carry out communist revolution. It was also an external party. So external party is a party which is formed on some issue. It is known as external party. Again, more as Duvaraj has told, law of political party and party system. He has told, there is a law of political party and party system. And he said that there is a close link, there is a close link between the 
there is a close link between the voting electoral system and the party system. He is told that there is a very close link between electoral system and the voting system. He is told there is a very close relationship between the electoral system and the voting system. It means if in a country there will be simple majority vote system, if in a country there will be simple majority vote system and single ballot system, automatically there will be two party system. So more as Duberger has told, there is a link between political party system and electoral system. Political party system and electoral system. It means if in a country the electoral system is that there will be a simple method vote system and single ballot system. Simple method vote system and single ballot system. Automatically it will go for two party system. Just in UK and USSR. Just in UK and USA. And if in a country there will be second ballot system and proportional representation, the party system will go towards multi party system. It is found in Austria and Germany. So, again, I am telling more as Duberger has told, there is a link between political party system and electoral system. If in the electoral system there will be a simple method system, and one ballot system, there is a simple method system and single ballot system, the party system will be automatically by party system, just like in UK and USA. And even in a country, there will be proportional representation and second ballot system, the party system automatically will become multi ballot system. So in this video we have discussed in detail theories associated with the political party and party system. We have discussed two important theories. One is the theory of Robert Michaels. Other one is the theory of Morris Duharjar. I request my viewers to watch this video not for the sake of watching only. Watch this video sincerely and in course of watching prepare your notes thank you viewers again we'll be here with another video till now goodbye to all